guys here's Sarendi and today I will show you five tips how to shoot product commercials at home. We will walk through the process of lighting, home stuff, shooting tricks, sound effects and editing. So let's get started with tip number one, lighting. For shooting this video I was using three LED lamps, both were located on the sides of the product and one was lighting up the background, but in some scenes where I was using macro lens I put one lamp under the jar to get this perfect color of drink. Try to avoid reflections on bottle by lowering lamps and to blur the light simply use paper towels that will help you get this soft image and reduce burnouts. And that takes us to tip number 2, home stuff. My favorite item is fish spinner. I use it in all rotating shots, but very important is to put something on it as a platform like piece of glass or book. To create this shot I cut the plastic bottle and put it into the jar. The reason why I was holding it in around 45 degrees is to create wave effect of the drink. Always try to match to your product image. In this case I decided to use rope, cigar and small bottle. And now let me show you some shooting tricks. First will be creative way of using your tripod. To get that transition I put only two legs of tripod on the table and move it down. Next example is to let the tripod arm fall slowly. If you are using Lumix GH5 you can create focus transition by setting different focus positions and smoothly switch between them. And in this shot the eyes wasn't in the glass but in small bowl that helps to focus on the details. And of course slow motion shots of eyes falling into the glass. But here I just threw the eyes several times. And now let's talk about sound effects. By adding sound effects you let the viewer interact more with the video and that makes it more interesting. Let me show you the video only with sound effects. All the sounds that you heard are from Artlist and if you are interested I left link in the description and now let's see some editing. As you already saw I was shooting everything on tripod but there's a lot of movement and more of that was created in post. Shooting 4K gives you possibility to crop the video and add the move for example from right to left or up to down. You can create speed ramps by changing the speed of your footage and create transitions between the shots. And now I will show you how to create that by using sharpness effect. In first clip set the cursor where the effect should start. Choose zoom blur and set value to 0 by adding keyframe. Next move the cursor at the end of the clip and set value to 50. The same effect needs to be added in the second clip but in an opposite way. Move cursor at the beginning, choose zoom blur and set value to 50 by adding keyframe. Now move cursor one more time and change the value to 0. Keyframe will be added automatically. Now check the results and if your transition is too long, simply grab a keyframe and move it closer to the first one. Ok guys, that's all for today. I hope you liked the video and if you want to learn something more, check out my other tutorials. Thanks for watching. See ya.